4. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Gorgeous day, sunshine everywhere, downtown area and here in Girard, the Bob Ferrando Ford World Weather Cam. Uh, we are looking east on Route 20 from atop the Girard Pharmacy. And uh, really, the picture says it all. Now, uh, we do have a bit of a breeze here coming off the lake. Uh, a chilly breeze at that. Uh, temperatures not rebounding as quickly as uh, we had hoped, uh, though we should still get into the 50s. Uh, but you stay in the sunshine, it'll feel good. But it will be a little cool. Uh, the real mild air starts to come in tomorrow, and it will be with us at least into the early part of next week, if not longer. But with that, we pay the price for some rainfall almost every day over the next uh, several days. After today, has a threat of some rainfall. Saturday right now looks like the best of them, so if we can get out and enjoy. But still in the 40s, out toward northeast, uh, Joe northeast, Dr. Tom Nag and Pierce Summit, 48. Uh, Edinburgh actually uh, adjusted there, should be 48. 52 in Corey. Keith and McCain, 47. 51 in Fairview. Uh, temperatures milder farther inland, uh, mainly lower to mid 50s across Crawford County and uh, into Youngsville and Saybrook, both around that 50 degree mark as we head into the afternoon. And uh, just looking good here. You can see hardly a cloud to be seen here as we head on through the day as the land comes into view here when the sun comes up. A couple of high clouds, a light northerly wind. Uh, it is a chilly high overall. Uh, it did come from Canada. Not the Yukon of Canada, but still a Canadian high, so still chilly. So if you have any outdoor plans, stay in the sun and enjoy yourself. Uh, the weather looking in pretty good shape. In the meantime, Futurecast is showing hardly any clouds expected as we head on into the supper hour. And uh, tonight, uh, clear in the evening, some of you out toward Warren and uh, Chautauqua County may get some frost. But later on tonight, uh, the winds will go southeast and things will warm up. And then uh, by uh, daybreak tomorrow, it'll be dry. But uh, mid morning, or excuse me, late morning into midday, some showers come in as a warm front arrives. So while the temperatures will be milder, we'll keep that threat of showers and some embedded thunderstorms. I was thinking maybe till mid afternoon, but new data showing that the threat will be there probably until the end of the day. So the afternoon could be a little wet for tomorrow after a dry early start. More uh, periods of showers tomorrow night, and maybe a gustier storm now and then. For Friday, uh, low pressure will be moving across Canada. It will drag a front through the area uh, by uh, late morning or midday. Now, here in Erie, we may be able to salvage a dry afternoon with some showers and storms hanging in there for areas farther south by mid-afternoon. We'll see how that goes. On the late, uh, actually, for today, your forecast, lots of sun channel on the lake shore. Temperatures uh, around 50 or lower 50s, and for the inland section, mostly sunny. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Sunshine in the Chautauqua Allegheny area, and you will see temperatures in the mid to upper 50s as well. For tonight, partly cloudy skies overall. Uh, not as cool. Mid 30s to upper 30s inland, low 40s along the lake shore. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Some showers and embedded thunder, mainly from late morning onward. But temperatures should get into the mid 60s. From your weather authority, uh, we'll have some uh, showers at times uh, on Friday with some thunderstorms. Better chances in the morning. We'll try to salvage a dry afternoon. No promises, though. Saturday does look dry, but it could be cooler near the lake shore with the wind off the lake. Chance of thunderstorms on Sunday. Updates.